A 14 year old shot over the weekend in Fraser, brought to a fire station for help. Then Tuesday night, a four year old and 13 year old injured after stray bullets came into their Hickory Hill apartment. Numbers given to us from Lebanon Children's Hospital today show 120 children have been shot so far this year. September just started. What's your reaction to that number? Yeah, I think it's um, alarmingly similar to previous years. The past couple of years have been on a similar trajectory. Nick Watkins with Lebonner Children's Hospital is a pediatric medical physician. He sees these young victims when they're brought in with gunshot wounds. I think it's tragic because in the back of our minds, while we're doing our job to, to save a life or to stabilize them, um, in the back of our minds, we think about how preventable this is. Dr. Watkins says with an injury prevention coalition and the trauma team, the hospital is doing what it can to prevent shooting injuries. And so um, we're working with the community, the schools, um, the local law enforcement, police departments, things of that nature for education, for um, gun locks uh, and free access to those safety measures. I think the bigger message and one that crosses all boundaries is one of safe storage and decreased access. He also says it's important to think about the impact and mental health toll shootings involving young people leave behind. Beyond just the physical wound, right? There's more than that. Yeah, exactly. There's, there's this ripple effect of not only the physical harm that we cause, but you know, it's the psychological harm to that victim, to that victim's family, to their friends, their community. For your news leader, Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3. Now, Devonner also offers mental health resources to help the victims and families of gun violence.